Hey everyone, it's Ainsley here from Berry Design Shop. Today we're just going to go through a tutorial on how to edit your seating chart in template version 2. So they have recently updated their system which is great because it's added a few new features and makes it a little bit easier to customize. If your screen does not look like this and it looks like this, then that would be template version 1 and if you scroll to the description we have another video tutorial for you that goes through how to edit your seating chart in version 1 template. So today we're going to go through version 2. It's very similar but there's a few things that are a little bit different. So this is one of the seating charts that we offer. We offer usually multiple sizes with one purchase so just have a read of the item details as well just before you purchase anything just to make sure the sizing works for you. This one is 24 by 36 inches so this is one of the largest ones. So the wonderful thing with template is that you can add as many tables as you need. So, or you can even remove tables if you don't want 12 and you want less. But today we're going to go through how you can add more tables and you can use those same skills that we've learned to then remove tables and adjust it as you see fit. So if we want to add more tables, the first thing we need to do is make more space on the poster. So to do that, you'll want to select all of the current table numbers and your guest's name and we'll want to size them down. So if you click in the bottom corner and drag so it covers all the tables and the guests names that you need to, it'll show up like this. So you want to make sure that orange box is just around the table numbers and the guest names and we want to scale it down. So to do that you'll want to make sure you only click the corner orange box. If you click uh, the one at the top or the side it can distort the image and we want to make sure it all stays in proportion. So I'll show you for example, so see how it elongates it, we, we don't want that. So doing it in the corner will make sure it all stays in proportion. So we'll bring this down and we'll leave some space for some table numbers on the sides and at the bottom. So we've got that there. Now what I'll do is I'll select the furthest three tables. So I've got these selected and I want to duplicate them. To do that you can either do control copy and then control paste on your keyboard or you can click this clone object button up the top. So we'll do that one today. So we'll click that and that'll duplicate everything that we have selected. So there's three more tables and now we'll do the bottom. So we'll select the five tables there, we'll go clone and then we'll just click and drag and move them across. So that's done, we've just added more tables to our template. So you just repeat that process until you have as many tables as you need for your event. Now one of the main things is alignment. So as you can see if we zoom in a little bit here, this guest name is actually lower than the one next to it. So you want to make sure it's all of mine and it's all looking great. So thankfully template have got these tools that allow you to just do it in bulk. So what we want to do is we want to select everything. We don't want those ones. We'll deselect that. Okay great. And then we'll want to click this left column button. So that'll just make sure that all the text in the text box is on the left hand side. So same here with the middle, the right. So once that's done you can see it's still not quite right so we want to go over here to the alignment button. So that's the one right next to the trash can. We want to click on alignment to the left and it'll just shift it all across there for us and make sure it's all fantastic. So we'll do that again. We'll repeat this process for all of the tables. To make sure they're all great. Okay done. So that's uh, the left and right alignment but we also want to align and uh, make sure they're all in line at the top and at the bottom. So if we select just the table numbers here you can kind of see it's a little bit all over the place since we've duplicated it. So we want to, you, you don't need to click the columns, you go straight to the align object. So click align and then you want to click vertical align top. 
that'll bring them all to the top and then you can do the same thing for all the guest names. You might need to click and drag it and then you can repeat that process for the rest of your table numbers and your guests. And that's all done. Uh, if you want to change the alignment, you can say you want all of the text in the middle. You can do that. You just have to select it and you can, you can click that middle tab and then you go to the alignment tool again and you click align in the middle and it'll do that. Or you can do on the right hand side, totally up to you. You can have a play around with it, see what works, see what you like and don't like. But if you have any questions, please reach out to us on Etsy. We're more than happy to help you and answer any questions you have so you can get the look that you're after. So thank you for watching and we'll see you again soon.